everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to make a quick video re relating to different ornithopter designs, including the one Quackers and I used in our video. You can see those two. So yeah, if you haven't checked out that video, go check that out right after this one. But yeah, I guess we should get into it. Generally ornithopters rely on two methods of propulsion. I mean you can use anything, just need reciprocating motion, but generally it's either servos like this one or pistons like this one which they're contracted but you can see those why because they're fast and strong simple and you see that hinge there that hinge is set to a low strength so when the wing is flapped up and down the fact that there's more wings behind the hinge than in front of the hinge will cause the wing to move well rotate around the it's hard to explain, I'll probably put up a diagram or something. But yeah, let's just get into it. So, this is a simple ornithopter. Here's the timings if you want to see them. We're just using servos, times 0 0.1, max speed, like toggle. And these are set to 20 strength out of 100. So, yeah, simple ornithopter. It doesn't have to flap this fast, you can make it flap a lot slower. And yeah, it flies. I guess we can let that fly away. <laughs> this one uses pistons, and this is the same design that I used for my ornithopter in the video. It's just with big wings, so you can see they flap a bit more and make a bit more noise, but same concept. And yeah, it flies pretty nice. Fast flapping motion. If you want to make it look more like the ornithopter from Dune, maybe use like the smaller wings like I did. And it just flies nicely. So now, here's a design that Quackers used. And it's essentially using pistons to move the helicopter engine that's not powered to flap the helicopter blades. So, it's, they move very fast because the linear motion transition and rotation motion. And yeah, it's a good design. It's a shame we didn't win the video. Now, I wanted to try making the design myself, because I understood the basic concept, so I just tried doing it myself, and I made this. I'll, I'll let me just show you what it does. Yes. <laughs> it's because it's causing a glitch or something. I'm not entirely sure what. But it's causing you it's causing force, which is causing me to move forward, so I just thought it was interesting and I wanted to show you guys. Anyways, this is still something that you might want to look into if you want to design. It's pretty constant propulsion. So yeah. But with that design you can also do this. I uh, zero drag the front of the wings by And yes. It goes fast. The concept is simple. It has no drag pushing the wings forward, because I zero dragged it, but it has drag pushing the wing back. So when it pushes the wing back, it generates thrust. And because the wings are this big, it generates a lot of thrust. And it goes fast. Also, the wings don't have drag from the front, so that also helps the speed. The rest of the creation does have drag. This is similar to the one I just showed you. This is just a simple piston design, but the concept here is you don't have to use the steering hinges to uh, cause forward flight. You can also make this more like a helicopter-like motion, where this is just generating upwards thrust because of what I explained earlier with this other design, and then you can lean forward and goes it still goes pretty fast. And this is not optimized by any means. You can probably make much better designs of this. I, I like literally spent like two minutes making this and all the variations and stuff so yeah all that now I guess I'll show you some of my designs from previous stuff and I guess Quackers design as well so this one like I said uses the piston method with thin wings the front wings are um, small modular wings the back ones are spoilers upside down spoilers provide a lot more lift so I wanted to balance that and did that. Well, it's not gonna fly as well as it did in the video because that was like half gravity. You know what? I'm just gonna turn the gravity down.
Also, in case devs are watching, I found a little glitch. If you look at the bottom left, it still shows 1G gravity, even though it's definitely 0.5G. It, no matter like how you change the gravity, it still shows 1G gravity for some reason. Not sure why. And yeah, that's pretty well. It's pretty fast. Using four plates. All the other designs I showed you earlier use two plates. It's the same concept, doesn't really make a difference. It's this Quackers build. This one doesn't work in full gravity anyways. And yeah, it's the other design. He's compressed the design to be smaller because he stacked them on top of each other essentially. Uh, the front blades are at a lower, like one block lower than the back ones. You can see that. And before the video I made these two ornithopter designs. This one you might have seen it a bit in the video. I made it after Airborne came out. It's kind of hard to take off. One sec. There we go. So yeah, it's it flies pretty nice. It's using sails and it's double stacked uh, servos for more speed. And yeah, simple design. You can see it. Uh, no no gyros for this one. It's relying on uh, servos at the edge of the wings for roll control and the uh, back tail with the giant sails for pitch control. And yeah, not as good as my, as the piston design so when it comes to speed and performance, but still, good ornithopter design. And my first ever ornithopter. <laughs> you probably saw this in the video, but yeah, it's not great. It flies, it goes forward, it can turn a bit. It's hard to go which way you want to go when it comes to turning, but it works. And yeah, I believe it's all seat controls for pitch and that servo in the middle for roll. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a short one, just to show you guys some designs for adopters. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Maybe a multiplayer one. We'll see. Goodbye.